new videos every day. Life Wisdom Psyche Truth Massage Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be discussing how to apply reflexology for low back pain. So in a few moments, I will have you join me on my back as we go ahead and get started. But for now, to address the low back on the feet, we'll be working with the front of the ankles, the back of the ankle, and then the lower part of the foot, especially the heel. So when it comes to addressing the low back, there are so many musculature and skeletal structures involved. So what we'll be doing from the feet, and one way, one reason it's really wonderful to work on the low back through the foot is A, you can, you know, you can receive maximum benefits, you know, which is basically means less pain. However, also B, you're not going to risk hurting yourself. You know, if you're, if you or someone else is working on the low back, it's very easy to just stretch a muscle the wrong way or to aggravate an already uncomfortable, uncomfortable situation. So basic low back protocol. We're going to be working on the front of the hip, the ankles, which are, um, reproductive organs and the low back. So I'm gonna start out with, from this position, pinching the back of my heel around my Achilles tendon and just wiggling the foot back and forth. You will likely be able to feel a line of tense muscle or tendon running from the inside of the ankle down to the heel. You don't want to push so hard that you bruise yourself, but a little bit of discomfort and maybe even a little bit of pain is that low backache releasing. And so, you know, work in there with your thumb. This is a really juicy, tender spot. You're gonna find, most likely, unless you are a superhuman, healthy person, lots of nervy little lumps. And so, I'm doing the same thing on the other side with my index finger. I'm using the side of my finger to rub into the outside part of the ankle. And so from this way, we're addressing, we are addressing the back, your low, actually your, your low back. However, so much of our low back pain and tension comes from the front of the hips, which we can address through the top of the ankle. So what I like to do is I like to use my thumbs and just kind of work around the front of the ankle. And then also you can grab with your finger pads, with the little, here I'll show you on this foot, this right here. Not only is this a hip reflex spot, it also is a gallbladder acupuncture point. And so if you are irritated or aggravated at all, this is a really wonderful place to work. And so you're using your finger pads and just kind of digging into this soft spot. Um, it's very important that you close, that you close, you clip your fingernails, obviously. And so anyways, we will just, you know, after doing the wiggle, we're going to pinch into that, this divot here and just roll the foot. This is loosening the front part of your hips, which includes such major flexors as the psoas muscle. All right. And so from there. Now we're going to move on to the lower mid back and then the lower spine on the heel, I mean on the inside of the foot, and then we'll be working with the heel. So using your thumbs, you can go in vertical. And then one another way, one other way I really like to address the spine is through making excess. So one thumb goes in one direction, one thumb goes in the other direction. And you'll probably find some tender, you know, if you do a uh, horizontal motion, kind of rolling your thumb over the tissue, you'll probably find some ropiness 
in this inner arch of the foot. This is, this is the spine going all the way up into the toe. There aren't, this is one of those things where there's really no wrong way to do it so long as you are not leaving any bruises and so long as you, you know, you're feeling better in the afflicted area. You know, this is, this is a good one to kind of like pinch around the Achilles tendon and drag your thumbs down. And the reason that I'm on my back with my legs up like this is that this just laying passively is an amazing, it's legitimate yoga. You are allowing the low spine to go, come into a neutral position while relieving all of these strong muscles in the belly and upper hips. All right. So how to address the heel? I like to draw my knee in and then cup around the heel and then I can push with my hand but I can also push into my hand with my foot and if this is another great place to work with the different directions going up and down, going side to side, and with your thumbs, you can again make those wonderful X's. All right, I'm gonna do some more hip. This, this is my go-to move. If I'm ever having hip pain is this one right here. You know, I can feel tingly nerve stuff going on right now and that's just congestion moving. This is energy flowing and stagnation and pain shifting. I'm kind of working the side of my ankle over here. Ha. Ah. All right, so now what you would do, what you can do is you can restart this video and follow along for the other foot. This is definitely something where you want to work on both feet for the same amount of time. Otherwise, half your low back will be released and the other half won't be, and that, that, would, just, that would be problems. All right, well, I would love to hear I'd love it if you would leave me a comment or like this video if it helped you. If there's another ailment you would like for me to address with reflexology, that would be awesome to know. Again, my name is Melissa Lemunian and my website is sensibletoolbox.com.